Okay, in this tutorial we want to show you how to hide menu items that you don't, if you don't have permission to see a page, how do we hide the menu links to that? So we're going to test this by showing you right now I've just got up an admin page that's secure, but I see the link here in my menu. I, I had to create this link and I had to create the permissions. So if I try to click on this link, it actually says you don't have permission to see that. You need to log in. And once I log in, I can see it. But the, the problem is I see the menu item on the menu all the time, whether I'm logged in or not logged in. What I really want to do is hide this menu item, not see it until I'm logged in and actually have permission to go to that page. So to do this, what we do is go to our web config. And this is a big web config, the main one. Uh, it's the one under our project. So underneath the project here, it's not the web config hidden in any of our folders. Um, so it's this main web config. And what we put in here is some text. And rather than typing this, it's easier to go and grab this off the internet. Um, I, if you're in class here at CBC, it's out in the O drive in a folder called hiding menus again.txt or down in the videos, there's one that says hiding menu, hiding menu items.txt. So just open this up. I'm going to open up a notepad this time. If you open up one of them, it has notes. I'll actually put the note in the other one. But this note tells you what to do. It says, you know, put this in the web config, copy and paste everything, blah, blah, blah. But what I'm, So I'm going to follow the instructions. I'm going to copy this text. Come here to my web config. And I want to paste it in the system.web section of my web config. <coughs> and I also want to make sure it's not inside in these other sections. So I don't want it inside the compilation section or the role manager section. So to do this, it doesn't matter where I do it here, um, but I, I'm going to do it right after the start tag. And so I usually do this, either right after the start tag or right before the system.web close tag. And then I'm sure I'm hitting the right place and I'm not inside one of these other guys. But to doing this, that's all I need to do. And uh, let's run this now. And we run it and test it out. You notice that admin link is gone until I log in and once I've logged in I have permission to go to that page now I see it on the menu so the trick to this again is just getting this chunk of code in your web config and the key piece is this security trimming enabled equals true we could turn it off easily here just by setting this to false but we probably want it in here, right? So this this one. And the you can't have this without having the site map section, the provider section, and we want to have to add our default one in here. So um, just copy and paste all this code and put it inside your your uh, web config. 